Welcome to Reading Kitty. Today we're going to read Baby Shark's Big Shelf, Yup Day, by Pink Fong and Nickelodeon. Baby Shark loves to try new things. Daddy Shark does not. Daddy says nope to almost everything when he was a kid. He never tried candy kelp or rode a scooter. We should have a Yup Day, Baby Shark says. On Yup Day, you say yes to everything. Daddy Shark doesn't like the sound of Yup Day, but Baby Shark grabs him by the fin. Baby is going to show him how great Yup Day can be. Down in Carnivore Cove, Baby Shark and Daddy Shark run to William and his mom. His mom is a news reporter. She's looking for the next big story. Baby Shark tells her all about Yup Day, but Daddy Shark is still having trouble saying Yup. Baby Shark tries changing his dad's mind by teaching him to a catchy Yup Day song. When Daddy Shark finally gives in to saying Yup, the whole town celebrates. Daddy Shark's change of heart is all over the news. Mommy, Grandma, and Grandpa can hardly believe it. Mommy Shark is glad Daddy Shark is having fun, but she is getting worried. It's good to try new things, but you can't say Yup to everything. Back in town, Baby Shark is putting Yup Day to the test. Look at this hill, he says. It's the perfect place to ride, learn how to ride a scooter. Daddy Shark takes a big breath. Yup, he says. Then down the hill he goes. Ah! Daddy Shark screams. He nearly avoids two kids, crashes through a picnic, and then sticks a perfect landing. Everyone in town is inspired to say yup. Two fish say yup to helping an old lady, but they end up fighting over who said yup first. Another fish says yup to a pottery class so she should be flying a rocket into space. Yup day is getting out of hand. Daddy sure can't stop saying yup. He sees Hank with his pet rock, Rocky. Dad says yup to walking Rocky, but also says yup to buying a giant can opener. When the astron doesn't show up, he says yup to flying a rocket ship. Baby Shark is worried. Daddy flying a rocket ship doesn't seem like a, sound like a good idea, but this is a nope day. Are you sure he can do this? Baby Shark asks the commander. He's fine, he replies. He has a co-pilot. Baby Shark sees that his co-pilot is... The pet rock! Now Baby Shark is really worried. He can't let Daddy Shark get hurt. He's got to stop this launch. Daddy Shark is worried. He pushes all of the buttons. He even breaks the steering wheel. Baby Shark rushes into the rocket. He's going to save his dad. But it's too late. The ship blasts off. Daddy and Baby are scared. They both scream. Just then, Baby Shark remembers the giant can opener. Baby Shark uses the can opener to cut through the ship. You genius, Daddy Shark says. With the help of a jellyfish parachute, Baby Shark and Daddy Shark make a safe landing down below. Mommy Shark is happy that Daddy and Baby are safe. Does this mean you'll go back to say nope all the time? Baby asks Daddy Shark. Saying nope to everything is, is just as silly as saying yup to everything, Daddy says. So, ice cream for dinner, Baby Shark asks. Daddy Shark smiles. Yup. Thank you for reading with Reading Kitty. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.